Tonight's program is a symphonic journey, touching down in seven different countries. And with the help of video and music, we'll gain an appreciation for how 19th century Europe helped shape the beautiful world that we live in today. The theme of the concert is romanticism and nationalism. Nearly all the music we'll hear today is from about the same generation, from the late 1800s, from the Romantic Age. And this music championed national causes, and it also supported this exciting notion of common people finally taking the reins in their society. From Norway to Italy, from England to the Czech Republic, no tour of Europe, musical or otherwise, is complete without a stop in France, home of the Enlightenment, the French Revolution, and in a lot of ways, the birthplace of modern Europe. In the 19th century, France already had its independence. Its struggle was a domestic one between the haves and the have-nots, between royals and aristocrats and peasants, between elites and commoners. Through its revolutions, and they had several, the French led the call in Europe for the end of the old regime notion of divine monarchs. Until then, most people just accepted the notion that some people were born, ordained by God to be rulers, and the vast majority were born to be ruled. The revolutionary slogan of the day was liberty, equality, and fraternity. And this slogan inspired those who longed for freedom all over romantic 19th century Europe. And when they sang that slogan, it was more than just nation building. It celebrated personal freedoms and the notion of government by, for, and of the people. This piece is typical of 19th century French romantic music. And when we listen to it, we can almost hear the rabble gathering in the streets and chanting liberté, égalité, fraternité, and of course, Vive la France. This is an opera by Berlioz, written in the 1850s, The Trojan March. <laughs> 